This is the Algorand News. In the news this week, DeFi on Algorand is getting upgraded. AlgoFi launches V2 of its lending and DEX protocol. Lofty AI upgrades its real estate platform. Glitter Finance successfully bridges between Solana and Algorand mainnet. An Algorand Oracle service sets its eyes on mainnet. Stablecoin baskets have hit Algorand testnet. Derivatives exchanges coming to Algorand and new liquidity farms launching soon. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss a thing. Now, let's get on to the news. First in the news is AlgoFi, the leading Algorand dApp in terms of TVL, has just launched its V2 lending platform. The V2 lending platform is fully ledger compatible, can support unlimited assets, flash loans, new innovative rewards distributions, along with a new stable to stablecoin. Incentives to migrate over are already underway, but it is expected to be a multiple month process, especially since many algos are locked in a vault on V1 until the end of the governance period. AlgoFi V2 is super smooth and the upgrades are phenomenal. It's cheaper, easier to use, smoother, and more secure. Always solid work from the AlgoFi crew. For more information about AlgoFi, check out the description down below. On to other news, Lofty AI just upgraded their platform with more to come soon. Lofty AI is a tokenized real estate platform built on top of Algorand. They have already tokenized over 100 pieces of property. Lofty recently launched their custodial wallet and soon will be releasing their secondary market. The custodial wallet is a nice addition to the platform. It is fully in your control, your keys, your wallet. But Integrating it into the platform allows for greater adoption. Now, new investors won't need to have their own Algorand wallet to participate. Lofty takes care of that for you. Using the Lofty wallet also means you won't need to manually opt into new property tokens or cryptos. You'll be able to automatically integrate the wallet into the secondary market. You won't need to complete an external wallet signature for every transaction. And even if you lose your seed phrase, you'd still be able to access the wallet by logging into your Lofty account. Lofty is already one of those real-world use cases that could usher in mainstream adoption. So removing friction by adding in a built-in wallet is a great step in the right direction. The secondary market is set to be fully public sometime next month. This secondary market seeks to solve the liquidity problem in real estate and move towards a more decentralized market, trading real estate peer to peer. Definitely keep your eyes on Lofty AI. For more information on real estate on Algorand, check the description down below. Next in the news, bridges between Algorand and Solana. As of August 2nd, Glitter Finance is now live on mainnet. Glitter Finance users can bridge Solana to Algorand and Algorand to Solana with more assets coming soon. Wrapped Algo is available on the Solana side and a wrapped Solana is available on the Algorand side. Now this is another step towards interoperability, but personally I can't wait for Algorand to launch their own state-proof technology. This technology will enable trustless bridging, which will likely be a much safer alternative to the traditional bridging methods. Until then, Bridges serve as an important function, but always proceed with caution. For more information on Glitter Finance, check out my recent interview with the CEO down in the description below. Now next up in the news, Algorand oracles are coming. Oracle services, like Chainlink on Ethereum, are crucial for dApp development. They help bring real-world data onto the blockchain. Goracle, an Algorand native oracle service, is getting ready to onboard node runners. Node runners run the critical infrastructure that transfers data from off-chain to on-chain. Now this is super exciting because many future applications need Oracle services. Some use cases and industries for Oracles include sports betting, derivatives, prediction markets, insurance, price feeds, and more. Blockchains are great at keeping records of data that happen on-chain, but Imagine the types of apps that could be created if we could bring real-world data and information on-chain. That's exactly what Goracle is aiming to do. The Algorand ecosystem has already evolved so much over the last year, so I'm very intrigued to see how the space evolves once we get reliable Oracle services. Definitely keep your eyes out for this one. 
Also, check out the description down below for my interview with Goracle CEO Abdul Osman. Next up in the news regards stablecoin baskets. Algomint is launching their GoUSD stablecoin basket, and it just hit testnet. This basket will increase interoperability and stablecoin stability on Algorand. Algomint has already built their Bitcoin and Ethereum bridges. Now they're building out the stablecoin basket. This basket will be able to hold USD stablecoins such as USDC, USDT, PAX, DAI, and more. These stablecoin baskets will be used to mint GoUSD, an Algorand native stablecoin backed by many different stablecoins across the crypto landscape. Not only will this increase interoperability and reduce friction between chains, but it is also a great way to increase liquidity and stablecoin stability. Super excited for this innovation to reach mainnet, likely only a handful of weeks away. Be sure to check out the description down below for links to prior conversations with Algo Mint founder Michael Cotton. Coming up next in the news, derivatives exchanges are coming to Algorand. So what are derivatives? Options contracts, leveraged ETFs, and perpetual swaps are just a few examples of derivatives. Derivatives are a multi-trillion dollar market, and Algorand has three derivative exchanges either about to launch or just launched. Deverdex and Silo are launching this quarter and FXDX went live around a week ago. These three platforms will give users the ability to long and short the market in ways that were previously unavailable. Now, derivatives are risky for the average investor, but they're super important for institutional investors. Institutions are large traders of derivatives, and hedge funds use them, well, to hedge their portfolios. Personally, I can't wait until all three of these are live. It'll be super exciting to try all three of these and to pick a favorite. As mentioned before, the derivatives market is a multi-trillion dollar market, so bringing derivatives on chain is super welcomed. Now, lastly in the news, a new Algorand yield farming platform launches on August 5th. Cometa Yield Farms and Liquidity Aggregator launch on Friday. Cometa reimagines liquidity providing with their compounding features, one-click liquidity providing, locked liquidity pools to incentivize sustainable and long-term liquidity, impermanent loss protection, and more. Their liquidity as a service platform will be a fantastic addition to the Algorand ecosystem. Their platform also comes equipped with an auto-routing DEX that routes your trades through the best trading pairs to get you the best pricing. Their meta token will function as a governance token, a yield farming token, as well as the primary asset of revenue sharing model. For more information on this one, you guessed it, check out the description down below for my recent conversation with the team. Now that's it for the news today, but if you liked the content, hit that like button, subscribe if you aren't subscribed already, and comment down below with your favorite piece of news and your thoughts. If you want to support the channel further, check out the description for links to my newsletter as well as affiliate links that help the show. Also, consider donating to the Algorand wallet address you see on your screen here and also down in the description below. Any and all support will go towards growing the channel and bringing you more quality content. I appreciate each and every one of you and we will catch you in the next one. Thanks.